Hello, my name is Gregory. I would like to thank you for reading my article called Heavy Metal Gallop Rhythm. In this article I tried to explain the, the difference between metal gallops and the rhythms that have nothing to do with, with metal gallop rhythm. So, a lot of guys claim that metal gallop is all about playing the 8 note triplets. It's actually not true. I will demonstrate now the sound of the 8 note triplets. So, let's see. So what we do, we play 3 notes per bit and these 3 notes are equal. So this is all about the 8 note feel, 8 note, eight note triplet feel. So we've got 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, 1 to 3, right? So this is not metal gallop obviously. And the confusion comes from the fact that gallop also has 3 notes per bit, but they're not equal. So, so how to create gallop rhythm? It comes, from, it comes from the 16th note feel. So imagine having four 16th notes per bit. And in case of the most common gallop, you basically tie together the first two 16th notes to make them sound like, like the eighth note. So you've got one eighth note and two 16th notes grouped all together. And you've got obviously four of them. So it sounds like this. Let me just play it with the drum machine and then I'll try to show you slowly how to practice that. Okay, so this was pretty much it. And the way to practice that. Maybe first let's understand the, 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 the picking direction. So it would be down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, 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 down. Now without palm muting. So down. So here we are, this is your gallop rhythm, the most common one. You can find it in music of bands like Iron Maiden for instance. But then there is another rhythm called reverse gallop. It's the situation where you've got, again, four sixteenth notes grouped together in one bit. But this time you're going to tie together the last two sixteenths. So you've got two sixteenth notes and one eighth note grouped together. So it sounds like this. Let me play it with the drum. Oh, one more time. One more time. So the main difference is when you and, and how you start it later. It's really hard to, uh, to tell which which gallop you play. So, so this is all about the gallop rhythm. I would like to tell you that if you haven't read the article yet, because you might found this uh, on YouTube. I mean this video. You can you can always go to my website, which is Guitar Lessons in Wimbledon. Uk. I'll provide the link at the bottom of the video or wherever and and you, you can go to my to my website and and you'll be able to download a free PDF and guitar profile so once you have it you'd be able to to see how it looks like on a on a stave or you can actually follow this if you use guitar pro so it would be all available for you Okay, I, I prepared for you some, some cool riffs or whatever based on Gallop, just to show you the application of the, of the Gallop rhythm. So maybe first I'll show you the chord progression that I'm going to be using for that. So here we are. Everything is on a, on a PDF, so no worries. This is just a power chord. This is 
the competitive mode. Not the power board. So the the first riff I'm, I'll be playing is based on is based more or less on on eighth note kind of feel. So let's play it. So this is it. This is not uh, gallop as yet, but very soon we will change it to gallop. I forgot to mention that I also prepared for you uh, audio tracks, so you can you would be able actually to hear it as well. So just 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 download it from my website. So now time to play gallop, but this time, if you don't mind, I'll play a bit faster. So I'm playing the same chord progression, but I'm playing this faster at 150 bits per minute. So let's see, this is Gallop version of it. And now I'll try to actually accent some notes, right? Okay, so, so so this is one of the applications, possible applications. Then I created one more, and you would be able probably to to see it on Guitar Pro, Guitar Pro how 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 it looks like. So let me just play it, and this would be the end of the video. And I hope that you found some value in in reading the, the article and and watching this video. And I'll be more than happy to answer any of your questions or. If you have any requests, maybe to shoot another video, or write some article or whatever. So here it is. This is another. This is another gallop. It's actually a mixture. If you look at this on a on a tab, it's a mixture of two gallops. So let's let, let's see how it sounds like. So it sounds pretty cool, right? Okay, I actually decided I'll tell you one more thing. I forgot to, to, to mention about this. Very important thing is the, how, how, you, how you hold the pick. You wanna just use just a tiny, tiny tip of the pick. Okay, just don't use too much because it, it, it will be harder for you. So just use the tiny tip of the pick and, and obviously palm mute the thing and, and, and practice slowly and then speed up as soon as you can obviously. So thanks again for, for watching and I'll see you soon, right? So thanks a lot.